then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, very chaotic scene when all of this happened. To be put on the same level as Jeffrey Epstein is a whole another level of criminal. In newly released court documents relating to the sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, they include associates, friends and alleged victims of the disgraced billionaire who died in jail five years ago. The papers relate to a case that was brought against Epstein's associate, Ghislaine Maxwell. She's currently serving a 20-year jail sentence for child sex trafficking. Our correspondent in Los Angeles, Peter Bowes, told us more about what's in the documents. There are 943 pages in all, transcripts of interviews, depositions, all part of a, a civil lawsuit brought by one of Jeffrey Epstein's accusers against Ghislaine Maxwell, his uh, longtime friend and associate who is now serving 20 years in prison for crimes that she committed with him. And yes, these documents have references to several of the very high profile people that we know uh, were associates of, of Jeffrey Epstein over the years. There are more than 60 references to Prince Andrew. There's uh, the repeating of... Uh Is this brutal in a hotel hallway? Imagine what a treat he must be behind closed doors. Things got interesting because Combs's ex, her name was Cassandra, she went by Cassie, 
And she filed a federal lawsuit against him in New York, alleging years of assaults. Now, again, they dated for like more than 10 years. So she obviously was very close to him and knew his lifestyle. Her lawsuit contained graphic allegations that he raped her in 2018, that he physically abused her, that he intimidated her, that he made her have sex with male escorts while he watched. The lawsuit also alleged that he blew up another artist's car, his name was Kid Cudi, in order to stop him from seeing Cassie romantically when him and Cassie split up. I mean, again, all of this sounds insane if it's true. Well, Kid Cudi thought the accusations were true. He said, yes, that is factually what happened. But of course, Diddy denied those allegations. And he instead came out and said that Cassie was simply trying to blackmail him for $30 million. And by the way, that is plausible, right? We've seen tons of those instances, especially in the era of Me Too. What did you know back then, three, that four Cassie years ago? That was gonna come forward. So what, what did you, how'd you know, what did you know about what Cat? Because to, to hear I the- I could explain. Yeah, but- um, But if I explain how I knew Cassie was gonna come forward, that could hurt some people. I don't spend time around Cassie and I haven't seen Cassie in person since she was with Ryan Leslie. Was there something in her eyes that you saw the way, like now I'm that- I'm gonna put it to you this way. There are mutual acquaintances between her and I. Mm. And that's as far as I can go. Okay. Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? Do you think this man had this woman search for prostitutes online just for them to have sex with her? It's something fishy about that, bro. Because you gotta realize this lawsuit and the information they had and they gave the Diddy people was six months ago. So some of that stuff was cut out. We're gonna give you this, but you gotta cut this part out. Let's just say, allegedly, just for the sake of it, Cassie wasn't the only one who wanted, or she didn't want it, but Cassie who searched for the big black and she was searching for the big black, not only for herself, but for somebody else who we all know that was in the room with her. So. If he want to see it and he want her to su touch it, he might, that other person in the room with her just might want to feel it, allegedly. She said it's a freak off session. If she says a freak off session, brother, she ain't the only one freaking off. The prostitute ain't the only one freaking off. Old boy is freaking off also. I think that, and, and me just being a trained investigator and reading through the lines of certain things. And one time I had read something that Cassie couldn't take it no more. She told her friend, and this was, she she was under a non-disclosure and everything like that. She told her friend she couldn't take it no more because she had seen this dude do something. I've heard plenty of stories about him being on a, that same yacht that Kim was on and the same yacht she got her nose broken on that somebody was doing something when she, to him when they walked in the room and it caused a confrontation. This is what somebody who was on the yacht said to me. My whole thing about it was this, anything in that lawsuit, you gotta realize that we only got a portion of it because it's been chopped up. Things has been taken out. So somebody would look a certain way. Cassie may have seen some stuff that she ain't really wanna look at. He didn't want her to know who they were so if she ever wanted to do what she just did, how does she say who the how the person look? All she could describe is they, if they was wearing masks, unless she saw them before they put the mask on. All these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this and try to engage other men into sexual acts with him. There was a story that he was trying to get Chris Brown, those young boys that he had, a group B5 or something like that, trying to get them. Yo, it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. Jimmy Iovine, ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got sexual charges and everything on him, but he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN is keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Federal agents raided Chandra Combs' homes in LA and Miami on March 25 because he had hundreds of cameras at the properties which may have captured some of his alleged sex crimes. Combs has strongly denied all the allegations against him. Three states. 
working in tandem and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. Mm. The higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. That's why you see the guns. The, the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids. To the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there and he was not there at the house's own. Um, yeah. And he was, was quiet. That was the worst part of that shit. Yeah, to see his sons being hacked. How the f do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was the that was the worst part, and all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just her son. He, he left their son to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. Actress and model Kim Porter, who died from pneumonia in November 2018, dated comms on and off from 1994 to 2007. They shared three children, son Christian, 26, and twin daughters, Delilah Storr and Jesse James, 16. It was a bad, it was a bad, like there was a lot of weird shit that I didn't even know that like, but they were like, you know, they'd do photo shoots together or whatever. They were, they were sort of friendly. Like they'd, yeah. they'd hang out, like we'd see them out downtown and like I'd hang out with her. Not so much with, I think it was already, sort of over there, but like, she was really afraid of him. And it- Really? Yeah, like this goes back years. And so like, and she was having these conversations with my ex, I was like, uh, like I, I don't know what, like- a, a lot of people believe that whatever happened there happened with the, the woman afterwards, which was Cassie. And supposedly- No, it, like, like I said, like I didn't, you sort of don't think about these things until now you like, you go back and you're like, holy, cr like I distinctly remember when my, Vanessa was like, calls me and was like, Hey man, Kim Porter died. I go, what? Like we saw her like a couple of weeks, whatever it was, it was, you know. And and she goes, Yeah, man, there she was sort of always in fear of something happening. And I was like, you know, maybe it's natural, but like not a lot of people die at 47 of pneumonia. Like, you know what I mean? It's like Wow. Uh, especially people who, you know, obviously there's, good shape. There's, there's, a, there's a shit ton of rumors. There's a again, shit. and I'm not I, I'm actually not trying to fuel any kind of rumor, but I, yeah, yeah. I definitely like that that's a conversation I had. Like, you know, yeah, someone yeah, yeah, who yeah. knew her well. You know, was like friend, like they text, like was like something. She was something like something. She's like something. She did not believe that was just natural. Some of the most explosive allegations have come from a February lawsuit producer, Lil Rod. This person, however, his name is Rodney Jones. He lived, traveled, and he worked with Diddy as a producer. And he is alleging that he has hours upon hours of recorded footage and pictorial evidence, which has been included in this document, to support his claims. And I have to say, these claims seem very credible. Now, to be clear, Rodney, also goes by Lil Rod, uh, is suing Diddy and others, we're gonna get to who those others are, for $30 million, claiming that he was subjected to sexual misconduct for the duration of the production process of an album. It is a 70 page lawsuit that has been filed in the Southern District of New York. And he is claiming that while working on the album and living with Combs in New York, California, Florida, other locations, that Diddy repeatedly groped him, touching his, I'm sorry to say this guys, his anus and his crotch without consent and attempting to groom him into accepting a homosexual relationship by showing him explicit videos of others in Hollywood. Yes, they have named other artists, claiming that homosexuality was a normal practice in the music industry. It's also claiming that Diddy would walk around the house naked and force him to watch him shower. Hello, everyone. Um, until further notice, I would not be performing at any gigs or anything like that. Um, for security reasons, my family, friends, and everyone close to me just feels like there's a lot of potential threats and everybody's just telling me what he's allegedly capable of. And, you know, it's very scary um, for myself and, you know, it has me worried about my kids and, you know, just sleeping with anxiety and, and different things like that. So just moving forward, um, just want to pause on everything until we know the 
it's, it's, it's clear and safe for me to come back outside of work. I appreciate uh, you all for your love and support and everybody that knows me, etc. Thank you so much. Love. We've all seen this movie before and we did not like the ending. Who knows, maybe a plot twist is at Daddy's end. 